Jeremy S. Cook here, and as usual, I was having a bit of a problem. When we last saw my CNC router, it was able to cut some materials, but these cuts weren't entirely uniform from one end to another. To remedy this, I used a technique called fly cutting, which mills the entire table with the router itself. The idea here is that by doing this, you're lining the table to exactly how the router cuts. In theory, this should work quite well, but as you can see here, there's something else going on. Yes, that's right, the middle of the table seems to have separated from its base. Perhaps warping could be expected given its location in a humid garage, but I actually helped this along by cutting several slots in the material in order to attach a set of clamping rails. The red line shown here represents the screws that normally anchor the MDF base. I cut slots down nearly the entire length of the MDF tabletop, weakening it and encouraging separation. To remedy this, I installed another set of screws in the middle of the table. Perhaps they should have been there to begin with, but my modifications weren't really doing it any favors either. So I went to work adding the two extra bolts. In theory, I could have drilled into the MDF in line with the bottom and top bolts, but I hadn't taken the table off anyway, so I wasn't sure what was under there. Actually, I did know that there were electronics under at least one end, so all the more reason to precaution. Once the MDF table was off, I marked a point in the middle of the hole in line with the sides, then drilled the MDF. This was the easy part, as the steel base would be fairly difficult to drill with hand tools. After thoroughly checking it out, I measured and marked where my tapped hole would go. Since there were electronics underneath, I covered the area with an old sheet in order to catch most of the debris. The drilling process started with making a small indention with a hammer and punch, then I opened this up with a center drill. Finally, I started actually drilling, adding oil along the way. It was slow going, but I took my time and I didn't really have any issues. Once that was done, I had tapped the hole with a quarter 20 tap. As with the drilling process, I took my time and I added oil as needed. I then repeated the same process for the back screw. Punch, center drill, oil drill, oil drill, tap tap tap, yada yada yada. And it was finally done. The table was then moved in place, and after drilling out the MDF a little more to compensate for positional errors, I was able to fasten everything back down. It was then time for another round of fly cutting. This time, things were more successful. Here I am testing out the Z position of a piece of polar cabinet fixture on the base. In each of these positions, I'm able to barely slide this scale underneath. That doesn't prove it's ready to make a stamping die, but should be good enough for woodworking. I still have a few kinks to work out, but cutting should be much improved after these upgrades. And those are the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Ow. 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 No, not my Jeep. Oh, no.